Zuma Radio, AM 740, downtown Toronto, FM 96.7, Eartha Kit. Nobody sounds like Eartha Kit. Santa baby there with the happy gang. Good morning. We have uh, sunshine and working our way to two degrees a little later on today. It's good to have goals. <laughs> uh, listen, we're all very excited, of course, because if you uh, if you are a regular vision television, vision TV watcher, you have seen and you know that that's where you get your Downton Abbey fix. Uh, and we are very excited uh, to welcome Leslie Nickel into the studio. Yes. Yes. Welcome, Leslie. Hello. Hello. Thank you for coming and being with us this morning. Thank it's nice you. to see you. Yeah, nice to be here. Man, um, I, where to even start? Uh, I'm I'm such a huge fan, not only of Downton Abbey, but of so much of the work that you've done. Thank you. Um, the first thing, I, I gave Jeff kind of a heads up that I, I wanted to go down this road, and Jane as well with you. One of the things I love about you is that you are working like crazy right now, <laughs> it seems. Yeah. You're always in something somewhere. I got busy, I know. Where over here... It seems to be a thing, and sadly, where once an actress reaches a certain age, mm. there's no parts. Yeah, I know. And I know. yet you're defying that. Is that something that happens on the other side of the world from where we are, or is it you? I don't know. I mean, the fact is, it's it's something I was aware of in Downton, and I had six glorious years of not worrying about it. <laughs> which was, But I did notice that other friends of mine, you know, at my age, were things were getting a bit thin. So, I mean, it can happen any moment. It's just not happening at this moment for me. So, But we, audiences, do you think, uh, as as uh, there's so many boomers and Zoomers getting up in age, that they want to see that reflection of themselves? They so do. I right? mean, that's the crazy thing. Uh, you know, the, it, I have a lovely friend in England called Anne Reid, who's actually now 80. She's a wonderful actress. And she always says, the, we have stories to tell, you know, and they make all this stuff with youngsters who haven't yet had a story, really. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they haven't lived. And, and there's great stories for older people. And she does a wonderful thing called Last Time Go in Halifax, I think it is. I think it's shown here somewhere. And it's about a couple in their 70s, you know, who, who meet later on in life. And it's fabulous. It's just and the audiences love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, I have, uh, let's say I have a, a question. I mean, you, your Mamma Mia, your uh, Jesus Christ Superstar, odd couple. Here's my question. What kind of dogs do you have? <gasps> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff is a now, dog guy. do you have dogs? Yes. I know you do, because yeah. only a dog person would ask you that. Um, <laughs> Tibetan Terrier um, okay. and a rescue miniature poodle. Nice. The poodles yeah. are so smart. Not mine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's what people say. They go, mm, smart dog. You go, no, not this one. <laughs> I don't know. He's very interesting character, but f smart, no. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, we can relate. What have you got? Well, I have a, a boy, and and you you talk about smart. This. Uh, this uh, yellow lab of mine is just Aww. an absolute bag of sand. Yeah. Yeah. It's, Aww, uh, yeah. Oh, lovable. Is it a boy or a girl? He, he, it's a boy. It's a boy. Does he love his food, though? He's, oh, my goodness. Yeah, they do love their food. Yes. Those boys. He ate my foot off gorgeous? once. But, yeah. No, they are. They're, yeah. they're really... And then we have a rescue... Uh, oh, do. S ...similar to you. Yeah, and he's... His name's Brad. And he's... <laughs> yeah, he's part uh, husky and, and part... I know, Brad. It's a great... When, when, when I show you... he's trying to declare him as a dependent on his taxes. <laughs> And Give him a, a human-sounding name, did the government name will him, never know. Did, did you name him No, Brad? he came as Brad. He came and, and with Brad. I'm going to show you his picture when we're done here, <laughs> yes, and you're, and you're going to go, you don't change that name. He's a Brad. No. Well, yeah, I've yeah. got Bert and Fred. Oh, Bert, there you go. Bertie and Freddie, yeah. Really? That's yeah. Okay, so where do those names come from? Uh, well, the, the Tibetan was named because we lived right next in London next to a street called Burlington Avenue or something, and there's a song called Burlington Bertie from Bow. It's a musical <laughs> song, and Burlington, Bertie from Bo. So he became Bert, and then Freddie, I know, Freddie came from a rescue home, and he was called Fries or something. They used to name, they had so many animals, they just went through the alphabet, and it was anything beginning with F, so he came called Fries. Well, it could have been worse. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, we just decided Fries was a stupid name, so we Fred came next. Now, while you're singing along here, and you're giving us Burlington, Bertie from, from Bo. From Bo, um, <laughs> people who only know you as Mrs. Patmore yes. are in for a surprise when they see you in <laughs> Annie, aren't they? Well, I, I hope so. <laughs> a good surprise, you mean? Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But, um, but you're pretty nasty. I mean, that part that you play. Yes. She's not a pleasant woman. No, she's not. She's a bit sad, I think. Yeah. Yeah. But funny. Right. I think she's quite funny. 
Um, Leslie is going to be playing uh, Miss Hannigan in the 40th anniversary West End production of Annie the Musical, which is coming to the Mervish Theater, uh, the Ed Mervish Theater, here April and May of next year. Oh, I can't wait. This is going to be... Uh, talk to me about this show and and your connection to it. How did all this come about for you? Oh, randomly out of the blue, suddenly my agent in London says, Paul Elliott's been on the phone, he being the producer, and um, wants you to do Miss Hannigan and Annie. And it just came out of nowhere. What, um, what makes Annie so timeless after 40 years? Um, I, I think it's a very special show, actually, because it's got huge heart. And, I, and particularly now, when things are all going a bit doolally in the world, I think that's extremely important for people to have a bit of that in their life. And so I think it's perfect timing for it to be done again. Uh, Favourite uh, ABBA song? Well, uh, my song in the show was Take a Chance on Me, so okay. I'm quite fond of that. Dancing Queen's a laugh, though. I like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm a big SOS fan. Are you? Huge. Oh, okay. Now you can have that one. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. You can keep that. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, Leslie Nickel in with the Happy Gang this morning. Uh, we know you got to hit the road and go over to our, our friends down the hall at the Classical Station. Oh, um, yeah. I I'll wish we could sit here and talk all morning. I could do just, that, couldn't you? Oh, it's a Well, you probably do. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, we do, yes. We're, we're going to be here anyway. Um, thank you so much for having the time to thank stop you. in. Um, no, uh, the show happens... Uh, uh, at the Ed Mervish Theater, April 24th through May the 27th. Uh, Randy, I bet people can get ticket information at Mervish.com, can't correct. they? There you go. Be there or be square. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie Nickel, thank, thank you so you much you for the time. Say hi to Bert and Freddie for yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Gang here at 29 After 9 with Catherine McKinnon and Christmas Time Again from Zoomer Radio.